Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about the J-Layered Pane, which is a Java class that can allow us to create layered pane. So a J-Layered Pane is a Java Swing container that allows you to position components in a container or a frame or a panel using 3D properties. So that means that it will allow you to display your components on top of each other, okay, on top of one another. So in this video, we're going to take an example where we will have a J layered object declared and created. And then on top of that particular J layered uh, object, we will add some labels. And then we will see some of the properties that we can use with this class. The structure of my project is that I have two classes, the main class, which is here. And with that main class in our uh, main method, I'm creating a frame object based on my second class, which is the my frame class. And the particularity of this class is that it is extending a J frame class. And as you know, JFrame class is used to create frames. And here are the various attributes of the frame. So now what we're going to do is to add a J layered object. And we simply have to write J layered pane. And we will call this J layered pane object um, layered underscore pane like this. The new J layered pane then semicolon. So we are having an error because we have to import the J layered pane. Okay, now we can add this layered pane to our frame. But before we do that, we are first of all going to determine the layout manager for our frame. So I need to come up here and say this, that set layout no. So now I have to manually position my layered pane on the frame. So I will say layered pane that set bounds and I will say zero, zero, 400 for the width and 400 for the height. And now I can add this particular J layered to the frame. So I will say this that add layered. Okay. Okay, here you can see that we are having our frame. So you have to make sure that in your main method here, you have this line of code, my frame, you can call this frame whatever you want, new my frame. So this is going to create a frame object. All right. So we are not seeing anything because uh, we didn't set any color for the layered pane and all of that. So one thing we can do now is that we're going to add some GUI components. We'll add some, but uh, some label. So I will say J label. I'll call this label one, new J label. All right. I need to import the J label class. I can set the background color for this particular label. I'll say label that set background so color that blue import the color class if you have not i can set the bound i can position that particular label uh so i'll say set bounds set bounds so 25 25 100 for the high for the width and 100 for the height or let me say 150 and 50 and here 150 then semicolon. So what we're going to do is that we will add this particular label to our layered pane. So we will say layered underscore pane and add label one. So let's see what will happen if we run. The label is not appearing because we said background color blue. There is another method that we need to add. So we will say label one set pick true now let me run okay now you can see the label showing on the layered pane okay so i can maybe choose to increase the height of this particular label say 200 and 200 for this one as well all right so that's it i can add as many levels as i want 
So I will simply copy this, paste it here. Okay. Now it's okay. So I will simply change here. Instead of level one, I will say level two, level two, and this will be level three, level three, level three, level three, and level four, four here as well, four, four. And now next, what I will do is that I'm going to add these labels to the layered pane. I'll say label two, label three, label four. So I also need to work on the positioning of these labels. How are they positioned? So as for the second label, I will say 50, 50 like this. For the label three, I will say 75, 75. And then for the label four, I will say 100, 100. So normally, if I run this, we're supposed to get four labels displaying on top of one another. Let me run. Okay, as you can see, four labels displaying on top of one another. Uh, just to differentiate the labels, I will change the colors as well. So I will say green, yeah. For the third label, I will say red. For the fourth, I will say yellow. And I have already added them to the layered pane. So now when we run and see, that the components are placed on top of each other, all right? So you have blue, green, red, and yellow. The one thing we can also do is that we can change the order of these components by specifying J layered pane layers. So the layered pane has layers and we can deliberately choose to add a component at a specific layer that will define its position. So how do you do that? We do that by adding another parameter here in um, and the line of code where we added the label to the layered pane. So let's take, for example, for label one, we will add a J layered pane layer here. So we will write J layered pane that drag layer like this. So we know that label one is the label with the background color of blue. And by default, when we didn't specify the layered pane layer, this label one was showing on top of all the other labels. So now we have specified the layer here and we will say, and we are saying that it must be drag layer, all right? So now when we run, uh, it's still showing on top. What if we say palette underscore layer, or it's one L here and then run. We're gonna add the layers for the other labels as well. So let's say for button for label two, we will say default layer like this. For the third lay label, we will say pop-up underscore layer. And then for the last one, we can say drag layer. Now let's run. So now you can see that the position of the layers are not changed. Now we are having the yellow label at the top, and this is the label four because we say that its background color is yellow. It's it has come to the top because we say that its layer must be drag layer, and then we are having pop up layer. So let's say that label two is now drag layer, and then label four is now default layer. Let's run. Okay, so now you can see. Label two has come at the top. And then label four has come below all the other labels. So this, the drag layer would make sure that your particular component will come at the top. And meanwhile, the default one would take your component at the bottom. And as for the pop-up, you know, as you can see, the pop-up layer is for label three and label three is having a background color of red. So it is actually coming right after the drag layer. So that's how you can actually define the layers by yourself. But instead of using the names of the layers as we have done right now, we can actually use some integer numbers. So these layer names have their corresponding integer values, okay? So how do you do that? We do that by casting the integer value like this. So we say integer that value of, 
and then we we'll say zero for example all right so we will simply copy that paste it here and don't worry we are going to change the integer values like this so let's say three here two here and then one here so let me run so as you can see so if you say three it will take it at the top if you say two it's going to be the following component to show and then one and then zero it will be at the bottom so that's basically it let me say three for label four zero for label two and then one for label one and then when you run now you can see label four which is having a background color of yellow has come at the top followed by label three because it's having the value two and then followed by label one which is having a value one and then label so the component that is having the highest number in terms of layer would be at the top and then the one having the lowest integer value uh, in terms of the layer would be at the bottom and as i said each number here is corresponding to a particular name of the layer and the higher the number is, the higher the placement of the component, you know, on the layered pane. So guys, that was it on uh, J layered, how to create a layered pane uh, to allow you to place your components on top of one another and uh, how to use layers as well. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share, to comment if you have any question and to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.